Intel's i5-13600K is an impressive CPU for the dollars, and in this video, we're going to check out how it stacks up against the newly released i9-13900K in benchmarks, gaming, iGPU, and PS3 emulation. I'll even throw in last year's i9-12900K as a bonus. The i5-13600K features 14 cores, which is a mix of 6 power and 8 efficient cores for a total of 20 threads. It has a higher base frequency than the i9, but boost is lower, as are most of the other specs, except for power draw. On Z690 boards, you'll need to update the BIOS before upgrading to 13th gen. My test system is a mini ITX build with a 280mm AIO liquid cooler and an RTX 3090. I'm running the latest BIOS at stock settings. AVX 512 is long gone from the BIOS, so the 12900K didn't have it enabled. Okay, let's get into the benchmarks. In single core Cinebench R23, the 13600K is pretty much identical to last year's i9. And for multi-core, it only falls behind by 10%. So the i5 is a great productivity CPU for the asking price. Let's jump into the games. All of them are 1080p high preset settings with DLSS balance mode enabled when available to push the most frames. The 13600K outperformed the 12900K in the Spider-Man comparison and it's not far behind the 13900K. Nice! A similar result in Forza Horizon 5. In Cyberpunk 2077, the 13600K once again beats the last gen flagship. Dying Light 2 is a close race between the three, as this one is GPU bottlenecked. God of War, again, is pretty close between all three. Here's a 5 game average. Emulation is another good workload to compare CPUs with. I'm using the RC PS3 emulator at 1080p with all the recommended settings found on the wiki. In Uncharted, the 13600K butts heads with a 12900K. It also had the highest 0.1% lows recorded. Modernation Races is where the i5 falls behind both the i9s. Whoa, Skate's an interesting one. 13600K actually took the lead. But the same doesn't happen in Wipeout HD Fury. Shield active. Race complete. Here's the five game average. iGPU results in 3D Mark are up next, with the 13600K a bit behind the other two. In Hades, the iGPU in the 13600K clearly fell behind the i9s. There she is. But the Valorant result against the 12900K was closer. Max power draw shown in hardware info went above spec using the stock motherboard settings. And max CPU temp remains high even with a 280mm AIO between all three CPUs. Looking at its performance, the i5-13600K performs close to a 12900K at a very competitive price. It's as low as $516 here in Oz, which makes it the CPU to beat in the mid-range. Impressive performance for the dollars and a highly recommended CPU. But before you make a decision, check out the 13900K review, especially if you're looking for productivity gains.